Hi everyone, welcome to your daily tarot with me, Cindy. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. So today we're pulling in planetary energy for picking your card. So I want you to just feel. I'm really trying to help you guys kind of get your intuition working. Everybody has it. Everybody has it at a different level at different times in their lives. And I'm really trying to work with you guys to help you bring out your intuition. Pile one or the pile Venus. This is Venus. This is one choice today. I want you when you look at each of these to say to yourself or ask yourself, do I like the colors in this? Does this number represent something important to me? If I add these two numbers together, this is the number that I get represents something important. Do any of the letters in here draw me into this deck? So that's your Venus. Your second deck is Mars. There's your Mars again. Do the numbers mean anything? Do the colors mean anything? Does the planet or the letters in there mean anything to you? Does it speak to you? Saturn. This is really a neat card. Does Saturn speak to you? Do the numbers in Saturn speak to you? Do the letters, do the image And lastly, Pluto. Look at that cool energy of Pluto. The numbers in Pluto speak to you. Do the letters speak to you? Does the image speak to you? Which one are you drawn to? I'm just gonna let them sit for a second. You can pause it as well. The timestamps will be in the description. And now we begin with Venus. What messages from spirit does Venus bring to you today? What energy is around you? What should you be aware of? Temperance, nice. Seeking balance, something is coming. Your energy oracle card is the fourth chakra with Archangel Mike, Raphael, sorry, Raphael. Your heart chakra, the fourth chakra. Your goddess energy card today is Rhea, flow. And your god and titan card is Ra, power. Nice cards, guys, nice cards. Okay, so for those of you that picked Venus, You're achieving a really good balance in your life and in your emotions. You're moving, moving slowly and thoughtfully, more so than you have in the past in your life and with the people around you. There's been energy, energy, provided to you by your garden, guardian angels that are helping to open up your heart chakra. And by opening up your heart chakra, it's giving you this beautiful balance. You're moving towards something, to a goal that you have for yourself. You're not moving quickly and erratically you know that you will get the goal. And you're sort of understanding that the journey towards the goal is just as important as achieving that goal. This is a really beautiful balance that I'm feeling from you guys right now. And I feel too, if you pick this because of the color green, green is the color for the heart chakra. 
So I think you feel this. You feel this balance. You feel your heart opening up and healing. With flow, flow and power. With flow, you're, you're kind of connected in a very divine way with the universe and the universal energies. You are traveling towards what it is that you are meant for on this journey in life right now. You're really on the right path. Things are flowing to you that benefit you. Things that do not benefit to you are getting stuck on the shore. They're not coming near you as you flow down the river of life. Really good energy and power. You have so much power in yourself right now. Power in your self-confidence. Power in what it is that you want for yourself or what you can do. And it's all about this balance that you've achieved. Beautiful, beautiful. Venus, and isn't she beautiful? <laughs> and you had a beautiful reading for today. That was wonderful. Thank you for letting me peek inside the energies of your day. Thank you, Venus. And now we go to Mars. What energies does spirit want you to be aware of for Mars? The Three of Cups, a celebration. Your energy oracle card is Healer of the Ages. Oh. Your uh, goddess energy is Ambition, Nike. Your God and Titan energy is Helios, Cycles. Oh, wow. Oh, this is really good. Considering that, the you know, Mars is the war, the symbol of the war card, the war planet, war energy, you've sort of come in with a very opposite reading underneath here which is pretty beautiful it sort of symbolizes the yin and the yang this three of cups is a wonderful celebration and i feel like it's a celebration about the deeper part of yourself this healer of the ages let's put these two together this is almost like what we're celebrating this three of cups with this healer of the ages i feel like this is something that you've always had and it's opening up. The happiness that you're finding in your life, the things that you're finding to celebrate about are opening up. This almost feels like the heart chakra here. We had a, pile one was talking about the heart chakra. And the way this is glowing, this is a divine heart chakra. And also your sixth chakra is also lit up, which is intuition, clear thinking, you're bringing in this knowledge, this universal knowledge, this knowledge that you had deep inside yourself about what it is that you can do. It feels like you have very healing hands. It's like you're a healer. You're coming into this knowledge. And I feel like you're not only coming into it, you're celebrating it. You've been, things have happened that have given you confirmation about this. And it's creating a new ambition within you and you can sort of see exactly what it is that you've wanted to do in this life what it is you would like to do particularly for other people you know that by helping other people you help yourself that you put both yourself and other people on a divine path the right path for yourself with helios the cycles we're approaching a new cycle you're being guided towards this new cycle in your life. You're also being asked to think about what cycles benefit you or have benefited you in the past and what cycles have not. Relationships, situations, jobs, people, environments. Reflect on what benefits you because being in these beneficial cycles is what helps to harness this power. That's beautiful. Thank you for being healers. That's wonderful that you're coming into this, this energy to help other people, to help yourself. 
And that's important. Remember, you cannot heal others if you yourself are not healed. That was sort of like a last minute secondary message there, but I think that was important. Okay, thank you for letting me read Mars, guys. And now we're going to do Saturn. What is underneath Saturn for us today? What energies does spirit want us to know about? <gasps> the Ten of Cups. <laughs> How wonderful. <sighs> Our energy oracle card today is Caring Connections. Your goddess energy card is Devotion. <gasps> Your god and titan card is Shape Shifting. Hmm. Oh, wow. Saturn is a good one. You guys, if you're not there yet, you are so close to it. And what I mean by being close to is this beautiful relationship, beautiful celebration of this relationship. I'm feeling like maybe some of you are getting married. You're going to be proposed to? The person in your life is taking a new approach to your relationship. They're showing a deeper devotion. A deeper devotion. Where you are, you're starting to show a deeper devotion. You've Oh, look at how this is mirroring the 14 and the 41 too. There's something... Yeah, I might pull some extra cards for this pile. With the Ten of Cups and this Caring Connections. Caring Connections and Devotion. I'm feeling like there's maybe even some Twin Flame, very deep soulmate connection coming in. And with Shape Shifting, it's sort of creating yourself, recreating yourself. Understanding what it is that you want. And making yourself a better person for it is what I'm getting from this right now. Adjusting to situations in your life that were out of your control and doing so with ease and ability. That was, that was really a specific message. I think that came in for someone very specifically, but you're doing that well. Let's get one more card. I love this pile. This is a nice pile. Can we get another card for the people who picked Saturn? A little more information. The hair of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys are definitely getting married. Someone's getting married. With the hair of it? Absolutely. A renewal of wedding vows. Beautiful. Well, wow, congratulations, guys. Someone's getting married. Nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me peek in to your Saturn reading, your Saturn energy right now. Very nice. All right. Now we're going to do Pluto. What energy is in Pluto that spirit... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's that time of year. Okay, with Pluto, your the signs that um, or the energy that spirit would like you to be aware of is the Four of Pentacles. Hmm, hanging on to what you got, huh? Your energy oracle card is the Third Chakra, Archangel Camuel. Your goddess energy is Ellen Patterns. And your God and Titan energy is Anubis, protection. Yeah, I would say so. Interesting. You guys are in a very um, protective state right now. You're protecting, you're protecting what you have in your world physically. You're protecting your heart. You're trying to understand patterns that have gotten you into certain situations. Patterns has been coming up a lot lately, and not just in this card, but in other cards that are speaking of it. Look at how this person is protecting the wealth that they've acquired, 
they're protecting their bounty, their hard work. They're keeping a balance. You're just trying to balance that. And Anubis does send you protection, letting you know that you are protected. But I also find when this card comes up, that he's showing that you yourself are also protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself from other people, emotions, situations, situations that tend to gravitate around the heart right now. Okay, I just got a message about it. someone is in a divorce. Someone is going through a divorce. A breakup. You're trying to keep what you have and you're protecting your heart. I don't feel like this breakup was what you wanted, you initiated. Let's read the third chakra. I want to read it right from the book. There's quite a bit of information about this and I don't want to miss it. It doesn't come up very often. So let me get the book and read that third chakra. So third chakra, emotions and desire, life force energy. The powerful Archangel Camuel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. It indicates that increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. Got that? Go for it. This is not a time to be protecting. This is a time to be leaping out. And perhaps you're starting to feel that. Because it did say that it's coming towards you. And Ellen with the patterns. This is assessing what patterns and situations have benefited you in life previously and which ones have not worked in your favor. So taking in that knowledge, observing those patterns, trying to repeat the positive patterns, recreate those positive situations and relationships. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I hope whatever it is that you're going through is resolved soon. It sounds like it's going to be. You're going to be in a new energy very shortly. And that was Pluto. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed picking from the planets. We may do air, earth, water signs as well to pick from. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day. Be kind to yourselves and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.